Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back. Good to see you here again. I appreciate you coming and watching this video. This is a really cool video, something that I've been interested in for quite a long time. Stonehenge has always been something that interested me. The building techniques, the, the amount of power that they had to put these huge blocks of stone together, it always fascinated me. It always takes me to uh, a spiritual kind of idea, you know, was there help for these people? Was there some interesting technology they had that we perhaps don't have today? It's interesting stuff. I really like it. On a side note, I just want to say that, you know, with everything going on in the world right now, all the, the stresses and the negativity that's going on in the world, I really hope that these videos that I make can give you, you know, just a few minutes of a break from that negativity, from that angst that's going on in the world. I really hope that I can help out with that. And you know, as well, I just like to mention that I have another channel um, that deals with spirituality and deals with consciousness and how to work through ourselves and become higher spiritual and conscious beings. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link down in the description. The channel is called Spiritual Gangstas. So if you're interested in that, check that out. But right now, let's go to the video and I'll show you how I built this Stonehenge diorama. So to start off, we're gonna use our MDF uh, piece here. This is uh, from the dollar store. And I'm just gonna start painting it with a green. I wanna get a little bit of a background behind it so that when we put the grass on it, we're gonna have a color underneath that won't show the brown, won't show the actual MDF color and uh, kind of ruin the piece that way. So just a, a simple blotchy coat of paint on there and we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna move on to the next step. This is gonna be a, a pretty simple base here. There's really only a couple of things I'm gonna do to this and first thing was paint and the next thing is going to be static grass. So I'm going to coat the whole piece here with some Mod Podge. So obviously the static grass will stick to the MDF board. So after I smear all that glue, all that beautiful white glue, <laughs> we're going to move on and we're going to use the static grass applicator that I built to put down the grass. Now I've got pretty short grass. I think this is only four millimeter grass. Um, gonna have to get some longer stuff. The, uh, the longer stuff looks a little bit better here, but you know, with this Stonehenge project, if you look at the pictures, their, their grass, their land around the actual monument is really, really kept uh, up well. So it's kept short. So this actually is going to work out pretty good. So just finishing off, getting that layer of static grass on there. Then I'm gonna flip it over and tap the loose parts off. And that's pretty much it for the base. I'm gonna put that aside and let it dry. And so moving on, I cut a whole bunch, probably 30 or more, I, I don't even remember here, um, blocks on my hot wire cutter of uh, XPS foam and then uh, pretty much all a, a standard size here. I think there were a couple inches long and maybe about an inch, maybe a little over an inch wide and about a quarter inch thick. So anyway, I cut a whole bunch of those and as you can see here, just using some crumpled up tin foil, really, really making them um, uh, detailed with this, pressing really hard. I wanted these to not look good I guess you could say at all. I wanted them to be really really marked up so that they looked like very weathered stone from hundreds of years of wear. So after all that was done just moved on to painting it a simple gray color black white paint mixed together found a color that I liked and started painting all of these up. Now these if you look at the pictures of Stonehenge it's pretty pretty light stone. So I kept this in the back of my mind as I was painting these. Now I know these are pretty dark. Uh, this is a dark gray color here, but that's okay because when I come back and I heavily, heavily dry brush this, 
it lightened up quite a bit. So the contrast of that darker color and then the white really looked good. So here's a little trick that I, I really like to use. So I got this silicone mat and what I'm doing here is I'm putting a little dab of hot glue onto these pieces of foam and sticking it to the silicone mat. Now this is going to hold just enough that you can do some painting uh, or what I'm going to be doing here, which is the washes. It holds it just enough that you can do that without having to hold the piece in your hand. So this tip here is just like, I mean, it works awesome for me. So anyway, so this is where I start to do the washes on the stone. Now I'm going to use three different washes, a red, a blue and a brown wash. And this is just to give some color variation to the stone, make it look a little bit more realistic. And as you can see, it starts off looking pretty rough. You know, it doesn't look all that great because you have all these colors mixed, but it does turn out once you put, you know, your, your black wash on the end and the dry brushes, it really does look pretty cool in the end. So all I did was took a small brush and just randomly went over all the stones with these washes. Um, no rhyme or reason, just went to town doing what I thought would look good. And you, as you can see, there's the colors on the stone. So after that was all done, I just moved on to dry brushing. Now this is a very heavy dry brush. Uh, as I said, because I wanted the, the stones to be lighter than I normally would because the real Stonehenge has fairly light stones. So just used a very light gray dry brush and went to town just giving, giving the business to these stones here. And as you can see, they hold up really well. You know, like when you're doing a wash or when you're painting, these guys hold up really well, except for this one here, because this one fell over. There was only a little bit of glue on that one. But this is the point where I'm doing the black wash. So getting, uh, getting it really nice and coated, this is going to, this is going to give depth as you know so the black wash really helps really gives it the the definition and the depth with pretty much any project that you're doing so just finishing up that black wash stones are looking great already and then after that was done I gave it a very slight dry brush on top of that. And then I started just laying out the stones kind of where I pictured that they should be laid out. I, I had a picture for reference and I, I tried to cut all these stones basically in line with how it's laid out. Now there's actually quite a few stones that are in the real one that I didn't put in here. But they were really small and I, I really didn't want to lose too much of the, the diorama to these small pieces. So I, I wanted to have enough space that you get the idea of the project, that it is Stonehenge. But I didn't want to really spend too, too much time on these little slivers of stones. So basically all I did here was hot glue it to the piece of MDF that we put the static grass on. and. This, this is pretty much going to be near the end of the project as, uh, as I'm gluing all these down. And here's just a quick view of pretty much the completed project. I think it looks really good. And these stones are, these stones, I, I'm very happy with them. I think they look really good. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you again next time.